I'm sorry if I'm taking a minute here. I'm, I'm just trying to not yell and get angry today. But, I mean, that woman is a cold-blooded, lying psychopath. I play the clips. She calls for harassment. She says, no peace, no sleep. She says, push back. She says, boo them out of restaurants. They can't go to a restaurant. They can't go to a gas station. They can't go to the grocery store. And then she's going to come out and say, I'm not calling for any harm. I want peace. Do you think I am stupid? If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. All right, in this segment, I am going to hit all the Maxine Waters clips so that you can see exactly what we're dealing with here, this total nut job. Let's start with Maxine Waters. This is on MSNBC, an interview of her calling for harassment of Trump supporters and administrators. I'm going to put up a list here of Democratic colleagues of yours who have called for the resignation of Kristen Nielsen, the Secretary of Homeland Security. Oops, now people are calling for your resignation, Mad Maxine. Few, uh, days. Are you going to add your name to those ranks? Do you think she should step aside? Oh, absolutely. She should step aside. You know, I have no sympathy for these people uh, that are in this administration uh, who, you know, know it's wrong uh, what they're doing on so many... Oh, yeah, but you're a no you know you're lying. Not want to confront this president or even leave, uh, but they know what they're doing is wrong. And I want to tell you, for these so do you. of his cabinet who remain and try to defend him, they're not going to be able to go to a restaurant. They're not going to be able to stop at a gas station. They're not going to be able to shop at a department store. The people are going to turn on them. They're going to protest. <laughs> they're going to uh, absolutely harass them until they decide that they're going to tell the president, no, I can't hang with you. This is wrong. This is unconscionable. We can't keep doing this to children. And then did we? Oh, oh, and then she puts the little with the children thing in there. Yeah, that was fake news, Maxine. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm, uh, you know what? I'm honestly not mad right now, and I, and I think I can control my anger today. But she's saying how the people are going to turn on Trump and they're going to harass Trump supporters and everything. And then Trump says, be careful what you wish for. Maxine, that's what's going to happen to you. In fact, I, I, think, I think in the final segment, maybe I'm just going to air the entire Mad Maxine video that Darren McBreen put together because uh, it's, it, it's just time, and it's a great video. So now let's go to Maxine. This is at a public event at some park where she steps up her rhetoric from going to harassment and saying that Republicans, conservatives, Trump supporters can't go to a restaurant or out in public or get gas without being harassed. That's what she wants. Now she's saying no sleep. So now she wants you, if you're a follower of Max Marsh, to go outside of Trump administrators, Trump and officials' houses and make sure they can't sleep. Listen to this. We want it done now. We're going to insist on it. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, ain't seen nothing yet, huh? Are you going to kill people? Already, you have members of your cabinet uh, that are being booed out of restaurants. Who yeah. have protesters picking up at their house. Who yeah. are a sick, no sick woman. No sleep. No peace, no sleep. And guess what? We're going to win this battle. And so let's stay the course. Let's make sure we show up wherever we have to show up. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. Not welcome. Hmm. Push back on them. Tell them they're not welcome. Harass them. Don't let them sleep. We're going to win this battle. What is Maxine Waters talking about? What is Maxine Waters calling for exactly? Now, she couldn't identify any of this with actual facts. It'd all be a bunch of hearsay, false narratives about Trump. That one's obvious. Just look at what they're doing with the Muslim ban now that I'm going to totally expose here in the next segment. And just look at what they did with the images of the children in cages. Oops, that was from 2014. Bury that story. Then they used the girl crying 
that was actually rescued by Border Patrol <laughs> and gets reunited with her family, the family that didn't even want to be separated except for the mother that paid for her to get separated and sent here and not the other two kids. So this is how low they'll go. But now look at Maxine Waters. After she gets called out for the things that she just said, the, the clips that I just played, now listen to her deny that she even said it. I believe in peaceful, very peaceful protests. I have not called for the harm of anybody. This president oh. has lied again uh, when he's oh. saying that I called for harm to anyone. He is the one uh, that's responsible for promoting violence. I'm sorry if I'm taking a minute here. I'm, I'm just trying to not yell and get angry today. But, I mean, that woman is a cold-blooded, lying psychopath. I play the clips. She calls for harassment. She says, no peace, no sleep. She says, push back. She says, boo them out of restaurants. They can't go to a restaurant. They can't go to a gas station. They can't go to the grocery store. And then she's going to come out and say, I'm not calling for any harm. I want peace. Do you think I am stupid? I just, I mean, seriously, that woman belongs in a mental institution. And you know what? Why even sit here and tell you? Let's go to the next clip of Laura Loomer confronting Maxine Waters. I'm telling you, if what you've just seen in the last three clips is not proof enough that Maxine Waters belongs in a mental institution, look at this one. Hi, Congresswoman Waters. Hi. My name's Laura Loomer. I'm an investigative journalist. You just recently made some comments in which you encouraged uh, your you? supporters. Who are you about, darling? My Who name is you? Laura Loomer. I'm a Trump supporter, and I'm also okay, a okay, conservative okay. journalist. Come to my office. I'll be happy to sit down with you. No, we I, can't I talk. I would like to ask you questions. We please don't, don't please don't push my camera out of my no, hand. You just, you just encouraged please your supporters. Come to my office. You just encouraged your supporters to harass no, Trump supporters no, no, no. and officials. Please come to my office. I just wanted to ask you, where, where are conservatives allowed to go? Please come Are there to separate? And talk with me. Do we sit at the back of the bus? Where can we we'll eat? Be happy to talk with Where you. can a conservative come eat at a restaurant in D.C.? Please come to my office and talk. I'm and asking you right now. Please come to my this office and talk with me. You're talking about civility. Yes. Do you think it's civil to call for the please harassment come of Trump officials? Please come to my office and sit down and no, talk No, I'm asking you right now. Will you please come to my office? Are we supposed to sit at talk? the back of the bus? This is Are we supposed to sit at the back of the bus? This elevator is members only. It's a member's elevator. Ma'am, it's a member's elevator. Ma'am, it's a ma'am. Ma'am, it's a member's elevator. Members have, members have to vote. It's a member's elevator. 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 Members have to vote. Where can I eat in DC? It's a member's elevator. Members have to vote. The Trump supporters. It's a member's elevator. Members have to vote. Members have to vote. Now, what does that remind you of? Does that not remind you of the average Trump protest on the street, where some idiot? sheeple Trump protester can't even answer a single question. They parrot literally the exact same thing over and over again. What just happened there? Uh, Maxine Waters, can I get a comment on your recent suggestions that Trump supporters and Trump officials can't go to restaurants and, and eat and get gas? And what does Maxine Waters do for 60 seconds? Come sit down in my office. 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 And then she hides behind her, I guess, security detail with that psychopath look on her face. And then what does her security detail do? Members only. Members elevator only. Members elevator only. Members elevator only. You hide like that. Members elevator only. I thought I was in the middle of a Trump protest right there. I can't believe these are the people that are the opposition, 
this shouldn't even be a competition. I mean, this should not be a competition. I should be mopping the floor with these low IQ nitwits. All right, we'll be back on the other side with the fake Muslim ban news. That's a riot. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Support good oral health with our one-of-a-kind Super Blue fluoride-free products. InfoWars Life brings you a revolutionary toothpaste blend with iodine and nano silver designed to deliver a powerful clean. Enjoy a minty fresh flavor made with peppermint oil or try our bubblegum flavor. Pair this groundbreaking toothpaste with the Super Blue fluoride-free mouthwash and supercharge your oral health. Our amazing mouthwash features natural oils and ancient ingredients used since aboriginal and biblical times. Instead of containing containing fluoride, our Super Blue line is loaded with the good halogen iodine and an array of other beneficial compounds that have been hand-selected for their oral health benefits. Super Blue fluoride-free mouthwash and toothpaste are the first and only to contain all of these natural ingredients, xylitol, nano silver, and iodine. Notice the difference with our Super Blue fluoride-free products. Refresh your breath and invigorate your oral health routine at InfoWarsStore.com. That's InfoWarsStore.com. 